Hey, it's Fade. Um, I just recently had to uninstall and reinstall Dauntless. Uh, part of this is the testing that I'm doing. Uh, the devs are trying to figure out how to fix this issue because they weren't aware of it. And so I'm just kind of throwing in my own solutions and testing them and giving them feedback on whether or not it's working or not. And then they're asking me to try different things. And, you know, I'll tell them if that worked or whatever. And it hasn't worked yet, but I'm hopeful. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall Dauntless. If for some reason you need to do a clean install at some point or uh, you just don't want the game anymore, just whatever. It's not as easy as you might think. When you're going to go and install a video game, a lot of times what you do is you launch, you start up the launcher, right? And you look for the uninstall button. Well, there isn't one. Okay, so this is straight up going to tell you there's not an uninstall button. This does not do what, yeah, it's not an uninstall. So actually, I'm going to do that real quick. Oops, wrong button. But anyways, you get the idea. So you can't do it through the launcher. Next thing you might try is add or remove programs. When you try to uninstall a program through this, what usually happens is, let's say CSGO, which, God, why do I still play this game? Um, it says 22.2 gigabytes, all right? So you would basically, if you check the file, that's how big it's going to be. You delete this or you say uninstall, it's going to open Steam, and it's going to uninstall the game. Well, Dauntless only says 132 megabytes. That is not correct. If you uninstall this, all it's going to do is, like, left-click delete the patcher folder in your game uh, directory, which the game is still playable after you do that. You just have to run it from the actual Dauntless application instead of the patcher application, okay? It's like you, instead of running the launcher and clicking play, you just go to the application and double click. That's the only difference that this makes when you click on install. All right, doesn't work. Nothing to do here, doesn't work when you do it this way. The actual way to do it is you go into your settings and you get this file path here, okay? So you're gonna copy that and you're gonna find your Windows Explorer, which is this little folder thing. If you can't get that, then just type explore, whatever, file explorer, you'll get it. It'll pop up. You click this top bar. It's kind of like a URL folder for the internet. In fact, you can actually kind of access uh, some internet stuff from here, like FTPs and whatnot. I'm going to get not get into that. But um, anyways, this is your Dauntless directory. You're going to back out to program files, and you're going to click on Phoenix Labs, and you're going to delete it. After you delete that, it's going to go to your recycle bin. Again, if you can't find that, just type in, like, recycle, whatever. Boom, here's your recycle bin. Then you delete it out of there. After you've done this, you have another file that you need to open. It's called app data. This is sometimes hidden, just depending. Um, and also, if you ever see something that says to do it app percent app data percent, this opens the roaming app data, okay, which is this right here. That's the only difference, all right? But sometimes people will tell you to do that specifically. In this case, that's not what you're doing. So if somebody tells you to access app data that way, they're incorrect for this specific thing. You're going to go to local. Then you're going to go and click Archon, and this is where all of your Dauntless stuff is, okay? A lot of games save their, their, their stuff in your app data folder, like client-side information, save games, character levels for single player, things like that, are often in your app data. You're going to click that, and you're going to delete it, your Archon folder. It's only Dauntless stuff. It's not going to like damage anything else. And that's about as uninstalled as Dauntless can get right now, okay? There's nothing else that you can really do to get rid of it, except if you really know what you're doing, like... And I mean, like, your computer whiz, you could go into your registry and go hunt for all your Dauntless things, but I would not ever recommend doing this unless you are very very aware of how this stuff works it can destroy your pc like you will not like you'll have to basically format your hard drive and reinstall windows if you fuck something up very badly in here okay so don't do that there's some harmless stuff you can do in your registry like you know this purple stuff at the top of my uh my windows how i customize the colors but yeah i'm not gonna go look for all my dauntless crap in the registry it's a lot of work there's tons of files so now that you've basically figured out how to uninstall the game, uh, just pretty much delete it, the other stuff from your recycle bin and restart your PC. 
if you really want to get the stuff out of your registry and whatnot, like the last vestiges of Dauntless, um, I would suggest waiting until they actually do add an uninstall option and then downloading the launcher and just saying uninstall immediately and it should finish it off for you. But until now, if you're just trying to do a fresh install or want to get the space cleared up, this is how you would do it. I hope it was helpful and peace out.